Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Eucharist. would like to welcome our pilgrims, since uh, we are celebrating this Pilgrim's Mass for you and also for everyone, and those who are celebrating this Mass online. We will now gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today in the Philippines, we celebrate Bonifacio Day. And in the church, we are celebrating the Feast of St. Andrew, one of the Twelve Apostles. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God. God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive Lord. us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Today is a feast, so we will now pray the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to the be. people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart, and so is justified. And one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. The scripture says, No one who believes in him will be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all. And reaching all, who call upon him for everyone who calls on the name of the lord will be saved but how can they call on him in whom they have not believed and how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard and how can they hear without someone to preach and how can people preach unless they are sent as it is written 
How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what was heard from us? Thus faith comes from what is heard. And what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Certainly they did. For their voice has gone forth to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold. Sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother, John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boats and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we in the Philippines, we celebrate the day of, uh, Apollinari of uh, Andres Bonifacio. But in the church, we celebrate 
St. Andrew, one of the twelve apostles. Kilala nyo po ba si uh, St. Andrew, si San Andres? Ang, ang salitang Andrew o Andres ay galing sa salitang Griego na pangalan na Andreas. Kaya yung may mga ang pangalan po dyan na Andrea, kapangalan nyo po si Andrew. Ang ibig sabihin ay tunay na lalaki. Who is Andrew in the history of salvation and in the church? And what do we get from St. Andrew? What kind of spirituality can we live out? St. Andrew in the Gospels did three things. Although he was not as popular as the other 12 apostles like Peter and John, but he did these three things, very important things. Number one, he was the one who brought his brother Peter to Jesus. Siya ang unang nakakita kay Jesus at nung nakita niya si Jesus, pinunta niya kaagad ang kanyang kapatid na si Pedro at dinala niya si Pedro kay Jesus. Number two, nung nagtanong si Jesus kung ano ang gagawin doon sa napakaraming tao na sabi niya, pakainin ninyo ito, sila, at ang sabi ni Andres ay, meron ditong isang batang lalaki na may dalang isda at tinapay. So pangalawa, Andrew was the one who presented the boy to Jesus. And after that, there was the multiplication of the loaves and fish. Pangatlo po, he was the one who presented the Greeks to Jesus towards the end of the public ministry. So, tingnan natin itong tatlong ginawa ni Andres. Una, siya ang nagdala kay Pedro patungo kay Jesus. At alam naman natin na sa istorya ni Pedro at ni Jesus, si Pedro ang ginawang unang santo papa ng ating simbahan, di po ba? Ito yung magandang makuha natin kay Andrew na tayo ang gumawa, tayo ang nagtrabaho, pero iba ang naging mas bida kaysa sa atin. Siya ang nauna, pero si Pedro ang binigyan ng mas malaking responsibilidad ng Panginoon sa simba. Sa multiplication of the loaves and fish, hindi nga natin masyadong uh, na aalala sa istorya na si Andrew pala ang nagbigay, ang nagpresent ng bata kay Jesus. Ang naalala natin ay dumami ang isda at tinapay. Si, si Andres, di natin siya na, napapansin. At sa pangatlo, yung pagpresent niya ng mga gregong lalaki kay Jesus, hindi siya rin napansin. Ang bida doon, si Jesus at ang mga griego. Kaya mga kapatid, sa araw na ito, nag-coin ako ng isang uh, spirituality na ang tawag ko ay Andrian Spirituality. Kaya ulitin po natin, Andrian Spirituality. Yun. Galing sa salitang Andreas o Andrew. Anong ibig pong sabihin ng Andrian Spirituality? Na hindi lahat ng pagkakataon tayo ang bida. Sometimes gumagawa tayo ng mga bagay-bagay, nagtatrabaho tayo, pero ang pinapalakpakan hindi tayo, kundi yung iba. Merong mas bida kaysa sa atin. Naalala ko po mga kapatid, yung kung kayo po ay nanood ng Fellowship of the Ring, merong magkaibigan doon, si Sam at si Frodo. Si Frodo yung bida, si Sam yung sidekick niya. Ang ganda-ganda ng istorya at naalala natin, si Frodo. Pero si Sam, 
hindi natin siya masyadong naalala. Pero hindi kompleto ang istorya ng Fellowship of the Ring kung wala si Sam. Pangalawa po, siguro naman, nanood na tayong lahat. Kasama ako, nanood na rin ako ng Hello, Love, Again. Di po ba? Uh, pumalo na sa 1.4 billion kasi lahat natin ng Pilipino nakapanood na. Siyempre, ang bida doon ay alam natin si Catherine sa Alden, di ba? Pero may isang karakter doon na hindi natin masyadong nakikita. At yun ang, ang uh, karakter ni Joros Gamboa. Mga kapatid, hindi po ako pala sine, pero pinanood ko to kasi, wow, lahat tata ng Pilipino, nanood, nanood na rin ako. Pero may napansin ako doon, si Joros Gamboa ang napansin ko, hindi si Alden. Bakit po? Kasi si Joros Gamboa ang parang St. Andrew ng pelikula. Siya yung sidekick, siya yung nagpapatawa, pero si Alden ang bida, hindi siya. Kaya sa mga manunod po sa inyo, o gusto nyong panoorin ulit, tinan nyo yung karakter po doon ni Joros Gamboa. Ito ang mga halimbawa na pwede pala tayong maging masaya na hindi tayo nagagrab ng, ng uh, opportunity para palakpakan tayo at tayo ang maging bida at hindi ang iba. Para po bang nasa entablado tayo, nasa stage, tayo yung humahawak ng spotlight at yung spotlight, hindi natin uh, pinapapunta yung liwanag sa atin, kundi tinutuon natin yung spotlight doon sa bida at hindi sa atin. At uh, ako po ay uh, ang research director ng Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines. Katrabaho ako sa CBCP. Nung ako ay hinire ni Cardinal Ambo David, ito yung sinabi niya na ang taong ay iha-hire niya ay magiging katulad ni St. Andrew na magdadala ng panibagong mga kaalaman sa CBCP. At ito po ang simula sa araw na yon, uh, ito yung panibagong spirituality na uh, sinasabuhay ko, ang Andrian spirituality. Ang saya at ang ganda ng buhay na hindi tayo napapansin. Pero nagtatrabaho tayo at pinapalakpakan ang iba. Yan ang ginagawa ng mga madre, ng mga pare, na yung mga magulang, tayo. Ala, hindi tayo ang uh, nasa limelight, pero importante yung presensya natin. Alam niyo kung bakit? Kasi hindi kumpleto ang istorya kung wala tayo. Kahit na tayo ay nasa gilid lang. Ginagawa ang dapat. Kaya mga kapatid, sa araw pong ito na, na pinagdiriwang natin si uh, Bonifacio sa Pilipinas at lalo-lalo na si Andres, San Andres sa ating simbahan. Sana, ito yung yakapi nating bagong spirituality po. Tawagin natin yung Andrian Spirituality. Mabuhay po kayo. Please all stand. Let us commend our intentions to the care of God the Father with the purse of St. Andrew. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors, called by God to the fishers of men, may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries may become effective proclaimers of the gospel, but their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called by our Lord to His service may respond generously to His call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, and the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead 
may live in the Lord's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. And we ask you all this, Father, in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. We will now offer our gifts. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, my brethren, that these my and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings, which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what you have accepted. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you eternal shepherd do not desert your flock but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your son and so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. May call it therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time I was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, Saint Andrew, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's commands and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord 
be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's of it sudden now po, the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Para sa lahat ng tatanggap ng banal na komunyon, sasagot po tayo ng amin pagkasabi ng pari o minister ng katawan ni Kristo at isubo agad sa bibig bago umalis harapan ng pari o minister. Sumunod po tayo. is 
Jesus, my Savior, my Lord. Jesus, my Announcements. Inihahandog po ng programang Home Base Plus ang mga kwento ng Himala ng Pong Jesus Nazareno. Ito po ay mga dokumentaryo sa mga buhay na binago ng ating Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno. Mapapanood po ito bukas, linggo, sa ganap na ikaanim ng umaga sa GMA 7. Gayon din, para sa mga nais magbahagi ng kanilang mga kwento ng Himala ng Nazareno, mangyari na mag-email sa himalanazarenohgmail.com Inaanyayahan po ang lahat na sumubaybay. Available pa rin ang official na kalendaryo para sa taong 2025 ng ating parokya sa mga nagnanais bumilim Maari kayong magtungo sa ating Paris office. Ito po ay nagkakahalaga ng 80 pesos. Pa mga kadiboto, mabibili pa rin po sa ating Paris finance office ang Nazareno Emiges, Nazareno Medallion, at Nazareno Novina Booklet. Pa pagkatapos ng misa, wiwisikan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig Pinakikiusapan ng lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar. Tanging sa Quezon Boulevard o sa Plaza San Juan lamang ang labasan ng lahat. Sumunod po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba sa Basilica Minor at Pambansang Dambana ni Jesus Nazareno. Please all stand. Let us pray. May communion in your sacraments strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle St. Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ may merit to live with him in glory who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We will now pray for uh, our beloved dead. O God, the Creator and Redeemer of all faithful, grants unto the soul of your servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that through devout supplications they may obtain the pardon which they have always desired. Absolve, O Lord, we beseech you, the souls of your servants and handmaids from every bond of sin, that in the glory of the resurrection, they may be raised up with all the saints and elect unto newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Ngayon po, magibigay ako ng blessing para sa mga pilgrims, pati na rin po sa mga nakikipagdiwang sa atin at gaya online. Blessed are you, O God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have given your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow Him generously, faithfully, and lovingly. Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, you have revealed God's grace and unconditioned love for us at the cross. You set your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. Grant that we who enter this holy shrine may walk in your ways as disciples of justice, peace, mercy, and hope. Now, I will ask you now po, sa mga may sakit po sa inyo, may mga karamdaman, pakilagay niyo po ang iyong kanang kamay sa bahagi ng iyong katawan habang ako po ay mag-pray over po para sa inyo.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. May He show His face and have mercy on you. Amen. May He show His countenance in you and give you His peace, blessing, and healing. Amen. And through the intercession of our Blessed Mother and St. Andrew, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is offered. We go in peace. Si Cristo ang bida sa buhay natin. Thanks be, be to God. God. Mabuhay po kayo. Nuestro Madre Jesús Nazareno Sinasamba ka namin Pinipinto ka namin Para mo namin buhay at kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Ang puso mong kinamatayan ay Sa isang ng aming kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Dinarangal ko Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, ninimalhat ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, dinarangal ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, ninyo malahat ka namin.